Hello everybody. My name is Levon and I am showing you the uh, best design koi pond filter I've come up with. And I've built several. I have a couple of videos of my own on one that took out all the algae in it. But this one seems to be the best and uh, I've uh, spoken or I've left um, some comments on some of the people whose videos I've watched and, uh, and I've given them some credit for their design. I've tweaked mine a little bit so it works uh, slightly different. Uh, my bottom feed drain comes from the side. So anyways, I'll, I'll show you how it works. I got my, uh, this thing was super green and just, just nasty, full of algae and my in-pond filters that I have were super caked with algae and the funny thing is they're good for a thousand gallons each and I put two of them in there and they seem to get blocked up real fast. So. So that wasn't a solution for me, and I said, you know what, I'm going to go overkill, and I, so I did, and uh, here we go. This is my 2,000 gallon per hour pump, pumping up into a street 90, and it's going in, and it's quickly coming out this way. Now over here is got the main shut off, it tees off with a one inch going back, another shut off to my ultraviolet filter, and then back into the pond. Most of the water is going to come this way. And I used 45 and I went in to this two inch uniseal right here at the bottom of this uh, high density polyethylene number two barrel. And inside here on my previous video, if you see, it is a downward facing uh, shower drain. I took the adjustable part out, this is the part that you screw out the actual drain with the uh, the hex head and all that, take that out and um, on, on the perimeter you'll see four uh, little tablets basically, four, uh, it looks like it was printed out with the mold. I drilled and I put four stainless steel bolts in there and I elevated the, uh, the drain facing downwards off the bottom by about one inch. At that time, I built a uh, an air manifold, which is how you're going to clean the uh, this filter out um, in a square and then a hexagon, and I connected it with the T, and then another T, which is the air that's going to be pumped down into it to flush the system. Anyways, downward facing shower uh, drain facing down. I um, put my again my air manifold, and then I put milk crates. I cut out milk crates so it fits this. Uh, this diameter and I put it heavy duty plastic milk crates I put all that in the bottom and then I put these big rocks I filled it in mostly with these big rocks about I want to say two to four inches worth of the big rocks and then I started with medium gravel about halfway and then peat gravel all the rest of the way and I'll tell you in less than 12 hours before I had to leave town I came out here and uh, I looked at the uh, the water and it was very clear. I could see my uh, my black koi fish at the very bottom, and uh, I couldn't even see the tip of my finger, about three to four inches underneath the uh, water surface. So here we go. This is the internals of this uh, filter, and uh, again, it's coming up and through all of this gravel. I put in my uh, bio uh, balls right here. Put them in one of these bags. I got another bag. I'm going to put over here. Just I have to order more bio balls. So I got this uh, upward facing 90 as you can see. And it seems overflow is doing real well. It's taking it. Now I can actually elevate this if I want to bring my water level up. I've got about 4 inches of clay right here. So if I ever need to I can put a small butt piece and bring this water level up a little bit higher. But it seems to be fine the way it is. And this is where you're going to be blowing uh, your shop back. Uh, you're going to be blowing air, not sucking air, into here. And that will blow that air manifold and bring all the debris and all the crap that the gravel is trapped to the surface. And at that time, I'm going to put a take that head off. I'm going to put a long piece of PVC and then my drain all the way out to the corner or to I have a, a drain over there too that will run it out to the street. So flush all the nasty stuff out. And then uh, when you see clean water coming up through your gravel, that's when you uh, pop that bad boy off and let it recirculate through your pond and top off whatever water you've uh, taken out of your system. But this is the best design I've come up with yet. I've used the uh, I've used several other types, and I'll tell you um, the the 
the water finds a way to bypass the you know, media, and this is just impossible for it to bypass. I mean, you know, three quarter inch gravel packed in the bottom, and then all this peat gravel, so it has to go through it, and it catches a lot of debris. In fact, when this top layer becomes all green and mucky, it's time to blow some air down here and flush out the system. But until then, it's doing really nice. And in fact, it's uh, so clean that, look, look, you, look, you see my babies. You actually see the very bottom if the sun wasn't reflecting. But there's my dark, uh, my black koi fish. And, uh, here's a little piece, I was telling you. I put this to elevate the water level, but I've never, I've never needed to yet. So if I put more biomass or biofilters and stuff, I can pop this guy on there, and it'll bring my water level up a little bit more. Or when I'm flushing it, I can always put this in a cap on it, make sure none of that nasty water gets back in there. And once it's all nasty and flushed, I can put that long extension and flush the system out. Okay. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a return. As it overflows, it actually drops here, which I like because it's splashing. You can actually hear it oxygenating. And then I hear it right here. It comes over and it drops again. And again, you can hear all that. That's all oxygenating, and then it comes and dumps out there, nicely oxygenated. And I actually put the uh, old head of one of my bell siphons on there, and it's got a whole bunch of holes drilled into it, and it seems to be bubbling and just oxygenating perfectly. And I like to swim in that little current over there. And there's my ultraviolet is also dumping right back, so it's giving a nice current that they seem to swim in, and they like it. And there you go, guys. That's the uh, best pond filter. Uh, uh, I've ever come up with so far and again I had the top feed uh, I was I had the other system where this was basically a T and it ran all the way down and I was filtering through here that water had to go down and then back up the T in that way well the bad part of that was the minute this got mucked up the top layer it just ended up going to the top of the T and overflowing back and bypassing all the filtration so this is the best design so far uh, I've got another gentleman that I actually watched his video. He has the uh, drain coming in from the bottom. I simulated it by just going in through the side and having a downward facing uh, shower um, shower drain. And I elevated it with the uh, stainless steel nuts uh, and bolts. Remember that. It has to be the stainless steel stuff. So or it'll start rusting and you don't want metals in your, uh, in your water. But there it is, guys. And it's working wonderfully. Um, very low maintenance. That is actually good for, I would say, 2 to 2,500 gallons. And this, when topped off, it's about 1,000 gallons. Um, yeah, it's right about there. A little over, I think. Anyways, there you go. Thank you very much for watching and uh, for uh, commenting on my videos. And uh, I hope this helps you guys out. It's so simple. It's very simple. All the media, uh, two, three bucks a bag, and I think I used uh, five bags of three-quarter inch and about three to four bags of the uh, peat, the smaller gravel, and bada-bing, bada-bang, there it is. Thank you for watching.